for you at 10 o'clock. Aggressive driving and reckless speeding taking over North Texas freeways. And you can tell right here where the focus is on this. That's what the Allen Police Department is seeing on these freeways, and they've begun a new effort to stop it. J.D. Miles with the enforcement plan that a lot of drivers say is badly needed. When Rashi Rice and another driver wrecked on Central Expressway in Dallas after reaching speeds close to 120 miles per hour, it didn't surprise North Texans like Lewis Carter. And I've had this several times on Bush for sure, people uh, going nearly 100 miles an hour. Speed limits are too often just suggestions for aggressive drivers on area freeways and tollways. We even captured vehicles with student driver markings passing traffic above 80 miles per hour. I would say on average we're seeing uh, on the higher end 120, 125. Um, I mean, it, there's a couple outliers that get even. Corporal Mike Cannon knows better than anyone how fast traffic is moving in Allen as a police officer who watches every day with his radar gun. He says he's writing more citations than ever on 75 and 121. All right, ma'am. I'm going to issue a written warning today for the violation. Because of a new initiative to combat aggressive driving that the Allen Police Department began on May 1st. Cannon says the public reaction has so far been positive from those who are seeing it firsthand. A motorist actually pulled into the lane next to the where the suspect vehicle was. And as I was guiding that suspect vehicle over to the shoulder, um, he's rolling his window down, giving me a thumbs up, you know, cheering. So. Um, I would think that's kind of an indicator that, you know, people are, are okay with this. Allen police tell us they had more than 3,200 vehicle crashes in the city last year, causing more than 500 injuries. This officer believes a lot of people started driving faster during the pandemic when the roads were more open. And I think those, those habits that people formed during that time frame, they never kicked them. This initiative is not just enforcing aggressive driving and speeding. It's also targeting violators of the move over law. That law requires motorists to pull over and leave an open lane when they pass the traffic stop, or if they can't, at least slow down to 20 miles per hour below the speed limit. 27% of the officers killed in North Texas last year were from traffic related injuries. Because freeway enforcement is so dangerous, a number of police departments have let speeding on them go unenforced. Please slow down for me. But not in Allen, where the police department says speeding drivers on busy freeways and tollways will no longer get away with putting the pedal to the metal. In Allen, J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas.